ตาแนนเฮ้ These are the coffees that our friend Ate Grace gave me during their last trip to Bandung. So this is from Single. I guess it's single origin. Um, I mean the the logo is uh, the logo looks like this. So I'm guessing it's uh, single origin. The whole name of their company. Um, it's from Bandung. Oh, okay. So it is a sub brand of Herd Coffee Roasters. All right. Okay. So this is um, a coffee from Herd Coffee Roasters as well. So today we are trying all of them. We're gonna do a quick cupping session of all the coffees here, and I'm gonna tell you what I think, so that if you visit Bandung, Indonesia, or if you have a friend from Bandung, Indonesia, then um, you can pick which one, so you don't have to buy all of them, right? I'm gonna use the fellow opus for this one because there's just too many. Yes, um, let's prepare all the things that I need first. I need my cupping bowls. Eight, seven. This one, this is Papua nutmeg. Right, it says here it's from Wamena, Papua. Mmm, it's very nutty. Nutty with caramel. Okay, 13 grams. Gallo wine. So this Gallo wine is from Bener Maria Gano. Gallo. Bener Maria Gallo. It is wine processed. Ooh. And it's medium roast. Oh wow. Okay, it smells like um, smells like an anaerobic processed coffee. Yeah, it's gonna it's, it's gonna smell it's gonna have the same aroma as an anaerobic because it is wine processed. It is yeah, it is wine processed. So it's gonna have a lot of that funk. Okay. This is Bali banana. <laughs> it's from Kintamani Bali. It is natural processed and medium roast. Mm, it's not so very aromatic, but yes, it smells like it smells like banana. Right, this is Gallo Orange. It's from Bener Maria Gallo as well. It is wet hulled process and medium roast. I'm guessing these are very um, popular coffees in Bandung. Oh, it's very juicy. Yeah, it's very juicy. And the coffee looks a bit different than the others. This is Toraja Cherry. Um, I already brewed this coffee once. Yeah, it's very nutty. This is from Toraja South Toraja. Maybe it's Toraja. Toraja South Sulawesi. It is wine processed and medium roast. Right. Let's move these a bit to the left so that we have more space for the rest. Right. Next is this Tolu Almond. It is from Tolu Batak Sumatra. It is wet hulled and medium roast. This one is actually interesting. So far, my favorite is this Gallo wine. Last is this Flores Lemonade. It is from Flores NTT. I don't know where NTT is. It is fully washed and medium roast. All of them, all of them, the, the flavor, sweetness, and body ratings are five out of six. It's not that very um, aromatic. Yes, we're gonna start um, grinding these coffees. 
we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, number seven setting on the fellow opus it's a bit coarse or maybe eight let's do eight We're gonna do some dry aroma tests on them. It smells a lot like chocolate and nuts. Next is the Gallo wine. Yeah, it's very fermenty. Bali banana. It smells a lot like um, candied fruit. Next is Gallo Orange. Mmm! Gallo Orange is really a lot like, um, it is very juicy. Um, orange peel, like candied orange peel. Right, next is the Toraja Cherry. The Toraja Cherry is really like um, nuts. It's very nutty. Right, next is the Tulu Almond. Yeah, very nutty as well. Tulu Almond is very nutty. And then the Flores Lemonade. I'm not getting anything from this. Um, we're gonna pour all of these cups with water up to the brim so it's 200 ml and then we're gonna wait up to four minutes before we break the crust and then um, you've seen my cupping cupping videos right so we're gonna do that right now It's almost four minutes now. Okay, we're gonna break the crust and skim it. So when you're breaking a crust, you stir on the stir on the top part just to break the crust. Stir one, two, three, and then smell. One, two, three. Mm, the papua nutmeg really smells good. Mm, the Bali banana actually lost its um, aroma. The Gallo orange doesn't have much of the crust. Raja cherry it smells really good. Tulu almond also lost its um, aroma. Okay, and then the flores lemonade. Right now we're gonna skim all of the um, foam on top. We are at 7 minutes now and so the first time that we're gonna try it is as soon as it is ready after 10 minutes and then we're gonna try again after it's cooled down, right? Alright, let's start with the um, Papua nutmeg and it tastes a lot like um, Mount Apo. Okay, yeah, it tastes like Mount Apo, like Mount Apo. Next is this Gallo wine. Mm. I'm getting like um, plum. It's very fermenty. Next is the Bali banana. I'm really excited with the Bali banana. It 
it doesn't taste like banana anymore. <laughs> um, but it's 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 very sweet. It's um, it's like a fermented fruit, like candied fruit. Okay, gayo orange. Hmm, it's very juicy. Yes, it's very juicy um, with a medium body. It's like a candied orange peel. It definitely tastes like orange. Right. Next is the Toraja cherry. It still tastes like um, nuts. Still tastes like nuts, but not very sweet. The Papua nutmeg and the Toraja cherry almost tastes exactly the same, but um, the Papua nutmeg is more sweet and the Toraja cherry has a bit of acidity to it, but not that evident. If you don't know how to um, describe it or identify it, you're not gonna be able to um, taste it. Right, next is the Tulu Almond. Okay, it tastes, yes, it tastes a lot like almonds, but there is a bit of acidity in there that I cannot describe. Lastly is the Flores Lemonade. Mm. This one is very floral. Yes, it's very floral. The aftertaste is not lemonade. It's more like um, lime. We're gonna go one more round because it's 16 minutes right now since we've tasted this um, Papua nutmeg and it's definitely cooled down by this time. So we're gonna do our second round now. This time the body is a bit thinner than the first time. It still tastes a lot like nuts. That is very sweet. Let's move on to the Gallo wine. There is, def definitely there is more um, acidity this time. More like berries, slight plum. Let's try the Bali banana. The flavors actually collapsed in the Bali banana. It's more like um, Sour Patch Kids now. You know that, that candy, Sour Patch Kids? Yeah, it, the Bali Banana tastes like Sour Patch Kids now. Right, Gallo Orange. Right, so the Gallo Orange um, evolved into peaches. Still very juicy, but yeah, sweet peaches. Sweet, very sweet. I really like this, the Gallo Orange. Next, the Toraja Cherry. The Toraja Cherry is just plain nuts now. It lost... Um, its merits as well. Let's go to Tolu Almond. The Tolu Almond tastes a lot like um, chocolate-covered almonds now. There is an acidity there. Oh, it's like an acidity of, um, it's like the acidity of raisins. Now the Flores Lemonade, it's still very floral. It actually tastes like lemonade now. Not so sweet lemonade. Yeah, we're gonna go just two rounds to keep this uh, video short. So the Papua nutmeg, so if you like very nutty, very sweet, if you're a fan of Mount Apo beans, you can get the Papua nutmeg. Um, if you're a fan of berries and plums and like fermenty flavors, the Gallo wine is really good. The Bali banana, I would not recommend you to get the Bali banana. Um, first, it only tastes like um, bland candied fruit, like sugar-free candied fruit, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, as it cools down, the flavors collapsed, and it just tastes like, like sharp Sour Patch Kids um, acidity. Right, the Gallo Orange is really good, on the other hand, it's really good, it's very juicy. Um, I would really enjoy drinking the Gallo Orange. Um, it is like a candied orange peel at first and then it evolved into peaches, which is very sweet. Um, the Toraja Cherry um, is... It tastes like a... Like a um, it doesn't taste like a specialty coffee. Um, it tastes ordinary, it tastes normal. Right. The Tolu Almond is like, um, it, it definitely tastes like almonds and when it cooled down, you actually get that um, unsweetened, 
unsweetened chocolate and you get this aftertaste of raisins. The Flores Lemonade is also really good. Um, it is very floral and um, you kind of get this sharp acidity of lime at the back of your throat when it's hot and then when it cooled down it tastes a lot like um, lemonade right so that is the single o um, coffees that ati grace um, gifted us um, i would recommend the gallo wine gallo orange and the flores lemonade right personally those are my favorites right um, if you ever travel to any part of Indonesia, you can actually look for this. It is halal accredited also. And yeah, they're really good. I really like them. I will be selling samplers of these coffees just so you can try. Uh, maybe 30 gram, 30 gram packs of these coffees for a minimal, minimal fee, of course. Yeah, I just want to I just want to share you these different coffees from Indonesia. These coffees that I will be selling is um, available for Manila only, so that we minimize shipping because it's going to be more expensive if you like ship it to other parts of the Philippines. All right. Hopefully, in the future we can do more videos like this. Since I have a lot of beans right now, um, I want to share it with you. So I will be posting on my Instagram. So follow me on my Instagram. It's at Daryl Arbueno. Follow me there and comment on that specific post where I will be selling these coffees. So watch out for that, right? But for now, thank you so much for watching this very, very long video. In the meantime, I will be cleaning up I might brew this Gallo Orange. Yeah, I might do another video brewing this Gallo Orange because I really like it and the Gallo Wine. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!